So we started uh, with the Challenger. I, I love the Challenger front end. I was never quite sure if it was going to work on a on a longer you know, body with the with a wagon. Um, I, I had a vision of what it was going to look like. Uh, I mean, Dion nailed it. So my name is Michael Geppert. I live outside of Chicago, Northwest Indiana. I had built a, a car previous to this, a Coyote Swap Fox body, and had uh, great luck with it, loved it. Um, needed to find something that was more family friendly. I knew about the Magnum chassis. Uh, I knew that it was the same chassis that Hellcats use today. So I thought, hey, let's put a Hellcat in a Magnum. Uh, I started to look around at people that have maybe done similar or, or done builds with Magnums. Um, and that's where I met Dion. This is Dion from the lab. Son of a hey, reckless tour. But I got expensive habits. Don't step in soon. I'm a real one, check my fabric. Hey, I said reckless tour. But I got expensive habits. Don't step in soon. I'm a real one, check my fabric. Look at my fabric. I add this Atlas, I point way. I got a passion mixed with action, boy, don't play. Look at my fabric. I add this Atlas, I uh, My favorite part. I mean. I don't know that I can pinpoint a favorite part of this car. Uh, the bumper. Uh, we put a lot of time into that bumper. Uh, I don't know how many times Dion came over and, well, we got to do this a little differently and this has got to be a little different. And sometimes I was just like, I just want to get it done. Uh, but he really put the extra effort into making sure that it was perfect. So is there a, a specific piece? I mean, no, there's a lot of little pieces that come together to make the whole car what it is. And without any of those little things, it, it wouldn't look right. West to the east when I'm blowing it, I'm showing them how to make moves again. Look at me, I don't break rules again. I'm a goat, drop rules for them. Show them how to win, not lose again. Whoa. I don't know that it would have worked without the wide body, um, which is just, you know, looks incredible on this car. Uh, even the, the front spoiler, like, you know, Dion was pretty adamant about painting it, even though I was pretty set on leaving it black, but um, now that it's painted, couldn't imagine it uh, black at all. Um, the wide body works out just fantastic. Uh, you know, fits a, that's a 345 tire out back, um, and it fits perfectly. I wanted a stock style suspension so that it's got the stock ride, um, you know, I can daily drive it, like I said, if I want to. My fabric, I add this Atlas, I point way up. I got a passion mixed with action, boy, don't play us. Look at my fabric, way up. You know, the, the side skirts are another thing that I never thought of. Uh, just, I imagine we'll just put the Magnum side skirts on there and, and that'll be good. But, uh, you know, Dion took the extra time to you know, make it all custom. So that is an irreplaceable side skirt right there. Wide body molds right into it. It's all molded on. There's no no tacks on there, no no screws, no rivets. It's all molded into the car, which I love. Um, no seam to worry about. And then, uh, you know, like I said, we, we all have hours into this bumper um, to make it look, you know, stock. Uh, so it's not like it looks like Holy crap, look at that bumper. It, it just looks like, wow, that's the way it should be. Mix with action, play us. I this Atlas, way up. I got a passion. You know, a lot of people in seeing or hearing about my idea, they didn't really have much faith either. And it made me question whether this was the right route to go. Having it finished and now having it be so uh, the shock and awe. That's all I can say. People's faces when they see it. Shock and awe. This is the way it should have been. This is the way God should have made it.